I want to talk about something else that's dividing folks closer to home. It's the Catholic teachers, uh, or at least their association, the, the union, versus the parents, and uh, something we touched on briefly earlier this morning. They're planning a presence in the Pride Parade, World Pride, <laughs> June 29th, and uh, some parents have taken up a petition, over a 1,000 signatures accumulated over the uh, Easter weekend, and uh, now they're asking the trustees to come in and referee this one. So uh, we'll find out how you guys would feel about this one, uh, whether there should be a presence with the teachers' union or the parents should carry the day uh, because as stakeholders, it's their kids who make up, for the most part, uh, the system. Let's come back with that, uh, Scott Masson and Justin Trache. And your thoughts, any of the uh, above that we've already discussed, you'd like to comment on? This is a culture clash, plain and simple. All right, let's get back into it. Dr. Scott Masson is with us, associate pastor at the Westminster Chapel in Toronto, and Justin Trache, spokesperson for the Canadian Secular Alliance, and uh, just talking about you know, the issues that divide us culturally uh, here in town, or uh, I guess it's Toronto, yeah, the Ontario English, it's the province, the Ontario English Catholic Teachers Association, planning to uh, have a presence at World Pride on June 29th. That's a big deal because it's not just uh, Toronto Pride, it's the World Pride Big Festival, and uh, it's coming to Toronto. And so they're uh, planning to send an official uh, delegation, I guess, to represent on the Catholic teachers. And uh, the parents, or some parents, have flagged it and uh, believe that this is inappropriate. The president of Parents as First Educators has uh, started a petition that's garnered so far more than a 1,000 signatures and believe that this is inappropriate to send a delegation to the event. Scott Masson, they're asking the trustees, by the way, the uh, Parents Association or the Parents uh, Group, to weigh in on this one and uh, try to rein in the Teachers Association. Uh, it sounds to me like it's somewhat political. Uh, <laughs> where do you cast your vote on this one? Well, it is, in one sense, clearly political. Uh, the uh, parents as first educators, which are, are raising their voices against the uh, participation of the Catholic Teachers Union on this, are, are to my mind, rightly flagging up uh, the fact that people who are effectively paid out of the public purse... Uh, are going to be participating in something which um, will involve things that actually break the law, namely the manifestation of public nudity, which happens at every Pride Festival. So I think uh, I, would, I would widen the scope of criticism and include the TDSB in this, as Sam Soteriopoulos has mentioned, and also include the Ontario Teachers Union. In fact, every public body, every person that's paid out of the public purse, every union, uh, ought to not be participating in an event where the law is flouted uh, without any sort of consequence. I think it's outrageous that this is happening, and I think that there should be a greater outcry, not a lesser one. Justin Tranche. Well, I've never heard of this organization, and I'm, I'm not convinced by a thousand signature petition that they necessarily represent the views of of, uh, of a majority or, or certainly not a consensus of parents. Um, the motion to uh, participate in World Pride uh, was passed by the teachers' union. Uh, it certainly had support uh, from a majority of the the voting delegates of the teachers' union. And right. let's forget, let's remember, that's teach, the majority, many that's teachers the are the delegates, many right? teachers are also parents. Um, uh, many Catholic teachers are also Catholic parents. So I think what we have here is a is a division within the Catholic school system, an interesting one um, between uh, uh, large groups, I think, on both sides. What's interesting to me is you often have a situation in, in the Catholic school system in Ontario where it's the teachers, the frontline workers, if you will, the ones who are the closest to the students, who are far more sympathetic uh, to walk in gay pride parade, to support their gay students. Even teachers' unions have gone on record, uh, Catholic teachers' unions in Ontario and in other provinces, supporting gay-straight alliances. It's often the trustees and, in fact, the, the bishops and Cardinal, in particular, Cardinal Thomas Collins in Toronto, who who are butting heads with the teachers when it comes to uh, now uh, walking in gay pride parade, previously on the gay-straight alliance issue. So to me, the question is, why are the teachers, those who are dealing with gay students pretty much every day and seeing the struggles they go through, seeing the bullying in the system, why are they the ones who want to support these students as best as they can? And it's the trustees who rarely actually interact directly with students. Well, first of all, Justin, it's not... Want have not, nothing to do with it. It's not, as you say, the teachers. It is the teachers' unions, which who do not represent the teachers. They take the teachers' money, and they claim to speak on their behalf. And the delegates you refer 
refer to are a small rep- representation of the teachers and often don't speak on behalf of teachers, and they certainly don't speak on behalf of the Catholic fa- faith. And I, I dial back to the broader issue here, which is the fact that publicly funded <coughs> institutions, individuals, are participating in a, uh, a festival which uh, publicly and openly and without actually any um, anyone disputing it breaks the law. And they demonstrate this to children, and they ask children to participate in it. I think it's an outrageous affront to Canadian public decency. And do you, do you uphold the oh, law? I can't disagree. Look, well, we've talked about that particular issue on the show, and I've gone on a record, and, I, and I've told you that I think the law should be respected. I don't think that there's any context. So you would support the I don't think there's any context in which people should be violating the law, including going uh, going out nude in public. I, I would support their arrest, you actually. You think they should be arrested? But I don't, think that the, I don't think it throws the entire legitimacy of the gay pride parade into question. It because does some if individuals those who it will not because some individuals it. break the law. I'd like and I'd like to see the, the the parade authorities condemn it. But the larger point about protecting gay rights, I think we shouldn't be distracted from that. The fact of the matter is, I have interviewed gay students who have tried to start gay straight alliances, have tried to push their schools to support things like walking in the gay pride parade. They get a lot of support from their teachers, the people who know them well. Then when the teachers inform the trustees and the trustees, the bishops, about what they're planning to do, namely support students forming gay-straight alliances or taking other action to support these gay students, all of a sudden the teachers are told they can't do that. So it isn't just the the abstract distant union, as you characterize it. It is frontline teachers who know the well, situation students are going into. Well, we are talking about the unions here, and we're not talking about the gay-straight alliances, and it's not the gay-straight alliances that are, are mobilizing here. We are talking specifically about the unions. But isn't it, uh, let me just interject, because sure. uh, you say it's not about the gay straight alliances, but uh, this is part of the overarching issue that uh, the parents have flagged, as they did with the gay-straight alliances and uh, certain things in the curriculum that were coming up. And I'm wondering if this has become, when I said political at the outset, uh, maybe the testing ground or the linchpin that uh, sees the whole notion of Catholic school or separate school funding unraveling. Is that the end game that's uh, maybe being you know, uh, set on a path to, uh, you know, uh, no longer being able to justify Catholic school funding. Do you think that's what's in play here? I do think it's certainly one of the targets, without a doubt. It's certainly one of uh, Justin's aims, and uh, and that's fine. Uh, I would say that's certainly one of the aims. But for me, the bigger aim, <clears throat> which is tied into it, is uh, the control... Uh, and the legislation of public morality. That's what it, who is going to legislate that. Um, is it is it the uh, the secularist humanists who want to endorse every form of perversion and to uh, include all manner of sexual uh, activity with, uh, and publicly say that it's good, we're going to include it, so long as there's no harm to anyone? Or is there going to be something which we think is rooted in the order of nature, uh, which which uh, history has demonstrated the Christian faith? animals holds. who are certainly part of the order of nature do in, do on occasion engage in homosexual sex. No, well, they right, do not. But, uh, absurd. Okay. Absolutely, they do. Some people would say that ship has already sailed. You're just saying that the Catholics have a right to draw a line and say we're not going to have Of course it. they do. Yeah, all right. And so this is where the parents, you want to see them uh, ultimately the ultimate the ultimate power, I guess. Over the education of their children and everything that has to do with it, I think it's the parents' mandate to educate uh, and to find a school that will reflect their their values on that. And but, if, the, if they will not do this, then I think their, a line but, has been crossed. Scott, you know, the, the argument to that, though, is uh, they're already compromised by taking public monies. Right, and I think that's, that, that is a, a real issue there. And I, I, I have said here on the air, I, I, I think that the government has no place in education. It ought to be wholly but, but, defunded But this is the central the point. If you, if you believe, as I do, and many do, in a strong public system, then you, then you simply cannot discriminate. And, and to, to John's point about that right, line being crossed, in other words, your crossed, values ought to rule the To that the point about the line being crossed, the line is continuing to be pushed. Uh, just a month ago or so, uh, the courts ruled that, at least in high school, uh, Catholics had to Accept non-Catholic Catholic, uh, high schools had to accept non-Catholics and had to allow them to be exempted from religious uh, programs, from uh, from worship services, from, from anything else that was that was uh, uh, Catholic in nature in the school system. Mm-hmm. So that's going to water down the system. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the courts, of course, uh, or the legislation uh, rather, is there that that protects students from forming gay straight alliances, uh, prohibits uh, Catholic teachers or trustees from blocking that. Uh, now, World Pride. So I think at a certain point, if I were a, a, a 
if I were a previous supporter of the Catholic school system, I would wonder, is this really even a Catholic identity school system? At what point I totally do agree. I want to move to the private system where, you know, if you're Muslim, if you're Jewish, if you're Hindu, etc., you, you, you already have that option of a, of a private religious system. It's always been a bit of an anachronism that Catholics have the special privilege. Well, I don't think it's an anachronism. It's, it's, part of the const- it's part of the setup of this country, and I think it did reflect the, the state of play at the time. I do grant the point, although I think it's a quite a trivial one to some degree, that he who pays the piper calls the tune. And if the public purse is funding the, the Catholic school system, that eventually if the public morality shifts in a direction or is pushed in a direction by those manipulating it, namely the teachers, the unions, etc., uh, that it's invariably going to be the case that the Catholic schools will the teachers are manipulating the, whatever. The, the school system. Whatever, they whatever. They well, or the union might be trying to affect a certain outcome sooner than later. That was my question. And I wanted to shift the, the discussion here. While-